Growth hack your brand and then destroy anything that moves. You need to grind hustle your platform manifest. It's all about entropy, elegance, and finance. Blockchain. Invest in real estate every day. Invest in real estate every morning. You need to mind hack the mind shackles that are grabbing your mind. Entrepreneurs. 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 Entrepreneur. Teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a day. Eat the man who just fished and you'll eat for a lifetime. Bartons! Business Money Hacks. Welcome to Business Money Hacks. I'm Dustin Taylor Hahn. I'm thinking of changing my name to Taylor Ham. You're thinking of changing your name? I'm thinking of changing my name. I just don't like it anymore. Ugh. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And you think Taylor Ham is a better taste in your mouth? Mm. Dustin Taylor Ham. Yeah, I don't know. Would you ever consider changing your name? No, I would never do that. No? I would never change my name. Oh, that was your father's name. It was my father's name. Right, so I, I would understand. But yeah. you hate your father. Hate the father, love the name. It's a tough, tough struggle. Yeah, I guess you don't go with Bridge Stewart Jr., you stick with just Brid Stewart. You're trying to start your own line. Yeah, if I changed top. if I changed my name, it would be changed to Bridge Stewart. Like that would be my first name, and then I, I my second name would be I don't know what it would be, but it would be Bridge Stewart, and then something. Maybe I should change it to Bridge Stewart. No, what if I was Bridge Stewart, there can only be one. And if you try yeah. to take the name, uh, sort of like Highlander, like I'll have to mm. like cut your head off and take your powers because there's a lot of power that comes with that name i would say you should try to get your employees to change the, all of their names to bridge stewart mm. so now bridge stewart is working at thousand time capacity we are the bridge stewart just like show up to another company all everyone is standing in a line it's like who are these people in the parking lot and you scream we are bridge stewart we are bridge stewart like the board we've come for <laughs> resistance is futile <laughs> Uh, we've come for you. We've come to make deals. We've come to make more Bridge Stewarts. You will, be, you will be part of the Bridge Steward. Try this out. Uh, next time you have a meeting, just bring everyone. A bunch of people dressed like you, talk like you. Yeah, everybody's just dressing and talking like me. It's like, oh, I'd like to hear from Bridge Stewart on this. And then it's just a bunch of people trying to yell over each other. You could all try to get everybody in unison to talk at the same exact time. Yeah. So you have thousands of people yelling, you know. Shut up, Whoa. shut up. I'm. It's shut my up. turn to talk. I'm Bridge Stewart. Shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut yeah. up. It's my turn to talk. I'm Bridge Stewart. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I hate you. I hate you. I miss my father. Shut up, shut up. I think that would be is very... Is that how most of your meetings go? Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. I start off with a little father discussion and... Uh, move into screaming. That's how I like to conduct meetings. You seem to have very good taste. That's why I was I think maybe I will change my name to Bridge Stewart. No. Um, no. I don't want you to have my name. I have to. Name's too strong for you. I don't think you could handle it. I think you'd crumble under the pressure. You couldn't walk you couldn't walk 10 feet in my shoes. <laughs> I'm just going to say. I mean, I mean no offense by that statement. <laughs> but you couldn't you would crumble under the pressure of being Bridge Stewart. No offense. It would be like But you would be you would be crying within 5 minutes of being me. With all due respect. You're too weak. Well, none taken. You know, it's like Bridge Stewart, when I'm around you, you seem to have this gravitational pull where I feel like I'm getting pulled towards you and then down under your feet. It's the magnets. Oh, you've got magnets. Yeah. Oh, that's the power of Bridge Stewart. It's the magnets. Yeah, I, I, I wear magnet clothes. Yeah. You know, I put magnets in the shoes. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, you've noticed I've been taller lately, right? At least a foot taller, and I, <laughs> oh, I didn't want to say anything. I got lifts, and those lifts are filled with magnets. Yeah. What do you do when someone's not wearing metal? When they're not wearing metal? Yeah, when someone is completely naked. It. Like in my office, which is that is that happens a lot. Common, that yeah. is common. <laughs> the, you, uh, yeah, you do like to strip down your employees, uh, make them feel bare. Yeah, I mean, I think that's an important lesson for employees to know what it is to be bare. You wear this like traditional Aztec garb, and you strip people down, covered in magnets. It's a whole lifestyle. It's a ritual. Yeah. yeah, ritual. Yeah, just the magnet life. Yeah. So. Today, on Business Money Hacks, we're going to be talking about an issue mm. uh, that is so important to up-and-coming business people is to have good taste 
in things. Got to have good taste. You got to have good taste. Industry. You got to know what you want. We are angel investors. Um, we spend a lot of time researching, you know, speaking with young people, older types of what's new, what's hot. What you like talking to the are. older people. I do. I, I, I like talking to older people. Um, I find that their wisdom is sublime. Um, and also, mm. they are weaker, so uh, you can kind of take the scraps. Yeah, you're a big fan of that, just ripping the scraps away from older people. I see you. I mean, you you had a sort of a phase where you just go into retirement homes, take the scraps. I would. I would go into retirement homes and um, convince the elderly that I'm uh, their family, I'm their son, or their their daughter sometimes you know they don't know they're confused that was a dark time but man it was fun yeah that was my scrappy days you know? i mean if your scrappy days being like a month and a half ago i guess yeah I was just doing roaming that. retirement villages uh during covid covid was a perfect time for that so i was able to swoop in like a hawk more, more like a falcon like a peregrine falcon yeah or a vulture any type of bird really bird Looks yeah cool. scavenger bird that's what they called you. Oh, no, the scavenger bird has come again, and he's going to take our food. Yeah. Uh, this is coming from a uh, supposed business tycoon. Uh, just... Going into retirement villages, taking people's leftover food. Well, I was mentoring at the time. I do the Big Brother mentorship, so I was teaching this 14-year-old inner city boy how I got to where I was. I prefer the Little Brother organization. I go, oh, yeah. yeah, you go in and tell some older person, like, how to act. I joined the Little Brother organization. Some of those bigger brothers, they're old. Yeah. They're in their, you know, 60s or 70s, and I go in there and try and mentor them. I guess after I'm in there, I take what I take. Say, don't let these vultures take your scraps. Dustin's a, a scavenger. Don't let him take your food. Never worked, because you're stronger. You're stronger yeah, than them. Yeah, but the thing is, I wasn't using my name at the time. I was using Brent Stewart. Oh, so well, I don't like that. It was a little confusing for them. I anyway, sure. in business, you got to have good taste. Got to have good taste in what to invest in, what business ventures to access. If you have bad taste, you're going to pick a bad business to, you know, hook your horse to. Yeah. And you don't want your horse hooked to a train that's going down hill you know that's an old western saying never hook a horse to a train that's going downhill yeah yeah exactly that's you don't want to do that you want to get a horse that's strong and the train going uphill good taste is, is it's instinctual uh, it's instinctual. it's instinctual it's raw it's in the you gut can't, it's it's yeah. in the gut you can't be cerebral you can't overthink it yeah. taste is in the gut taste is in the tongue something that you've done in the office and i've certainly watched you used to bring food in you used to feed your employees yeah yeah well i want to make sure my employees have good taste if my employees don't have good taste we're sunk we're a sunk ship our horses might as well be drinking castor oil. You might as well be sticking your horse in a bathtub and trying to drown it. I'm trying to drown a horse in a bathtub. Which is difficult. Very difficult. I mean, do. we talked about shooting horses. Drowning horses? Woof, that'll take it a, a whole day. Yeah, that'll take a whole day and a lot of ranchers. A lot of ranchers to drown a horse in a bathtub. I've done it. Not pleasant. <laughs> I'd say at least eight or nine strong ranchers try to get that horse in that first of all get the horse in the house get it upstairs and then put in his head in the bathtub i mean the bathtub, in the bathtub while it's kicking it just loves kicking anyway what you got to do is you got to have make sure that your workforce they've got good taste they've got to have good taste and and like yeah. you said i do that by bringing in food to the office saying eat this now or else and uh, they uh, they eat it and they're like, oh God, this is so good. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. It's the best. This is the best Indian food in the country. This is the best Indian food. Highest rating. Yelp. So high. Michelin starred. They eat it and they're like, oh yeah, it's so good. So good. And then I'll be like, you know what? Surprise. This is, this is terrible Indian food. This is terrible mm. Indian food. And you're all fired. You're fired because uh, you have terrible taste. It's very obvious you have terrible taste. You thought this Indian food was good. Yeah, they have to have a good palate. Little old Indian it... food never hurt anybody. That's definitely true. Little Indian food never hurt nobody. Yeah, it's true. It's never... Uh... It only makes you stronger, is what they say about Indian food. Well, something about having good taste, a good palate. You know, I have this tool where I... It hurts, but I scrape the taste buds off of my tongue. Yeah? I figure if my taste buds are almost surely gone, I don't really taste anything. But if I do taste something, 
then I know that it's good. So you have a totally strong. clear palate. A then. blank slate palate on my tongue. And how's that working it, for you? I mean, do you feel like it's helping? Well, I haven't tasted anything in quite a while. And my sense of smell is gone as well, which is oh. a little interesting. Well, that doesn't sound good. That sounds bad. Uh, Not being really able to taste. That. No, I, I'm a taste or smell. And, um, you know, to each their own. So There was certainly a plan. There was at some a plan. point, and I guess there wasn't really a follow through on that one. Yeah, I really wish I could smell again. My my whole mouth is numb, like the front of my face. I don't feel the lips moving. Well, I, I don't know. I kind of miss it. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Uh, that goes against everything we're talking about today. Um, in regards to having good taste, you have no taste apparently. Well, no. I mean, I still got my eyesight. You know, I still got that. I yeah, still have my but hearing. How much can you taste with your eyes? Well, <laughs> that brings me into uh, the fine uh, art that I'm. You know, as you know, I've been doing a lot of watercoloring recently, as of late. Yeah. Watercoloring my dreams and been selling that on the old NFT. How's that going for you? Are you selling a lot? Well, I'm buying a lot. I'm buying my own art. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the way you, you do it with NFTs, right? Yeah, you buy your own art, and then uh, people go, oh, you've, you've sold your art. That makes sense. But speaking of fine art, you have good taste. You often walk into museums. Yeah, I, I buy the art. You do the old uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, in, uh, gimme the there. art. I'm going to need G- that art museum. Yeah. yeah, I also like to give sort of a litmus test to my employees. Like, you know, I put art around my office heavy art i here's the thing with art if you're not having deep self-reflection from art what's the point right Mm. so i like to get heavy with my art Mm. i take i get pictures of widowers that's all the art in my office is just pictures of widowers looking directly into the camera after like moments after their their significant other has died and Mm. Just it's tears. Like a... <laughs> and I have that all over my office, in the cafeteria, in the bathrooms. Mm. And uh, I think it keeps my employees uh, aware of what good taste is, because that is tasteful. So you've hired photographers, had them standing around uh, funeral homes, waiting for men to walk out in their most vulnerable moments and snapping a picture, like the paparazzi, except they're not famous. They're just regular folk who are grieving. Yeah, grief is what you want to feel in an office. Uh, This is the overriding (laughs) heavy grief. grief. So when you go into the work every day just to to feel grief, Mm. that's what's going to get you inspired. It's like, I don't want to feel that grief. I better work harder. It's a powerful uh, motivator in an office. It's like, uh uh-oh, like you better work harder or else maybe, you know, the ones you love might pass away and you didn't make enough money. Sure. I mean, most widowers are widowers because they just didn't work hard enough. They didn't work at it. They didn't grind. Otherwise, their wives wouldn't have uh, passed on before them. You know, because if you're working hard, you shouldn't live on past the age of... 65. Yeah, yeah. anything beyond 65 and you're just dead weight, honestly. When you turn 64, Bridge, that's going to be the big year. The year where you'd never let up. The big grinding year. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. 64. And then 65, shotgun to the head. That's, <laughs> that's the best way to end that. Closed casket. No, open casket. I want open casket after... <laughs> My funeral. I want an open casket after a shotgun wound to the head. Tell your attorney right now who's uh, making that will. Open casket. Open casket post shotgun blast to the face. (laughs) Don't clean up. Either shotgun or cannon. You don't see a lot of suicides by cannon. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people would see would see that and be like, "Wow, what a what an inspirational mm-hmm. entrepreneur." He shot himself with a cannon. I was thinking about um, the day that you leave this world and you upload your consciousness. Maybe I'll take over because I am, you know, I'm a year younger than you. So that'll be a good year. I'll be Bridge Stewart, 64. And you you think you'll take over my business at 64? When you uh, shoot yourself in the face, at that point, I would have scanned your face in. Become me? That's what I'm already at my fifth iteration. Dustin Taylor Hahn. Really? There's another Dustin Hahn out there. He's a uh, entrepreneur. He uh, He's in real estate. <sighs> That's dangerous. Those guys, they're like Wolverines, real estate people. 
You don't want to mess with real estate. Yeah, they're scrappy. You don't know where they live. It's hard to find they them. They shift from place to place. You ask yeah. them, hey, where, where, hey, can I come to your house? He's, <laughs> Which one? They're none of mine, but they're all mine. Yeah, they're, shif- they're shapeshifters. They're chameleons. They mm-hmm. can be anywhere and nowhere. They are the true shapeshifters of our age. And they have good taste. They've got great, great taste. taste. Those suits they wear. And the portraits that they leave. On the front of oh, these, uh, oh, the portraits, the, the portraits that they oh, have, and the video, those drone shots of the house. Oh, god! There's nothing better than a real estate drone shot just flying over that house. I have a screen on the uh, ceiling of my room. It's just, just drone shots of real estate. Yeah, uh, just playing on a loop. Really? Yeah, I get the live feed, and then sometimes when I'm in a really good mood, I have live video of uh, third world countries, you know, neighborhoods, oh. houses. I get people to walk in and kind of video the houses, the kitchens, Ooh. backyards, dirty areas. You like seeing the dirt. You like seeing the grind. Yeah. You like roaming neighborhoods from the safety of your bedroom. And then I play audio. It's just construction sounds. Mm. You know. Yeah. Bulldozers and whatnot. Sort of like it's my nightly meditation. It's kind of a lullaby. Put the headphones in of construction. Beep, beep, beep. That sounds like high art. I make my own, uh, you know, installation every night. Yeah, that sounds like an installation you'd see at some gallery or some college. Do you uh, spend a lot of time at colleges as well? I oh, mean, yeah. Hmm. No, I mean, here's the thing. With good taste, you know, young people often have good taste. I don't know why. They're the next wave of what's They're what's the hit, next wave. Cool. They're the next wave, and so I like to hang yeah. out at colleges, just sort of peep around Sort of see, hmm, what's what's cool here? What's hot on this college campus? Yeah. What's what? Where's the hot stuff on this college campus? And I'll ask people. I'll ask students. Hey, where's the hot stuff? I want to find the hot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the hot stuff on this college campus. I'll pay you. I'll pay you yeah. to, for the hot stuff. So, Brent Stewart, entrepreneur, uh, tech tycoon, and his suit will. Uh... Hang out at college campuses and uh, speak to the first person that he sees. Hey, where's the hot stuff? I'll pay. Once the class is over, you're just standing out in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stand outside the hallway. Hey, I'll you. sort of be leaning against the the wall. with a, Hey, college kid. Hey, college kid. Did you enjoy your class? Did you enjoy your English class? I've got a... I've got a a wad of money with your name on it if you lead me to the hot stuff. Uh huh. How does that usually go? Not well. Not well. Huh? Yeah. It's tough because these colleges, uh, you know, just like They're... any liberal institution, they try and hide what's cool from the entrepreneurial sure. world. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I try and really you know get this information and they're trying to hide it you say college kids really know what's hot what's hot and uh but the thing is they are educated they're a little bit more savvy yeah might be a good idea to go down to the high school oh you know, yeah. go down a grade you i've <laughs> and, you've done that yes i have i uh go to the high schools and uh hang around i said hey high school kids where's the What's hot? What's the hot? Where's the hot stuff on this high school campus? They don't like that. Yeah, like the teachers will come out like, who are you? What are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing here in the high school? And, the and you, you respond usually with like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking for hot stuff. <laughs> I just want to find what's hot on this campus. You know, for the next big idea. The next. Uh, yeah, the next, for the next. For the next the big next idea. The next new TikTok. What's the new TikTok? Yeah. Uh, and if they try and yeah. stop you, like. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't try and stop me or I'll shoot you. <laughs> and that's how you get those teachers off your back. Oddly enough, they'll run right into the classroom and shut the lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And I'll say, but it works, you know. It, where's the hot stuff? Where's the hot stuff? Show me the hot stuff or I'll shoot you. That's what it sounds like you like to do on these high school campuses. High schools now have security guards and they have uh, 
they do have a camera on them, so I can uh, pay the guy to get, send me the feed to that camera. Then I don't have to be spending so much time at the high schools. I could just watch. So you're the paying of my own home. You're sort of bribing yeah. these these uh, security guards at high schools to film the students and stuff. Yeah, and you get and, the and footage. I, what do you What do you do with the footage? I put it online. I put it on the dark web. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You put so you well, you get this footage of these these high schoolers and then just upload it to the dark <laughs> web. Well, I don't I don't personally upload it. I have people for that. Mm. I'm not the person doing all this stuff with these security guards. I have uh, a microphone, so I could be talking to the security guards, and I say, you know, zoom in, zoom <laughs> in. You're gonna need to zoom in on that. I'm like, hey, follow, follow that kid. What's hot? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you need to yeah. get the scoop on what's right cool, it. what's hot in the industry. In the industry, yeah. So you've got these, yeah, yeah, and you've kind of got an assembly line of it. So it's like you know you've got a bunch of security guards, a bunch of people uploading the footage to the dark mm-hmm. web. It's just hours and hours of footage every every minute being uploaded to the dark web of these kids. It's just running like clockwork. It's going twenty four hours a day in many different schools. It's under. Bridge Stewart. It's under um, your name, the LLC. Oh, that's nice. So I'm idea. sort of covered on all of my bases. Um, when I go physically to the high schools to, to uh, speak to the uh, security guards, I am dressed like you. That is not good. I don't like that. For the purposes of seeing what's new, what's going to be the new TikTok? You know, TikTok at this point, it's old hat. Oh yeah. Um, TikTok is like know, thirty in business years. At the moment, every you know that's all these old. entrepreneurs are scrambling to figure out what the next new hot uh, social media platform, the next new app. It's my expertise. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's sort expertise. of your expertise. Finding yeah. out what's what's hot with these kids. What do you see now that TikTok is sort of on the downswing? Oh, what there's a new the app. One? New app called mm-hmm. Flip Flop. Flip flop. It's it's even shorter videos, so it's like half a second mm-hmm. videos. It's just like so you'll be scrolling through the feed. It's just like blah, 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 blah. like it's just yeah. so quick, so fast, and that's mm-hmm. what these kids want. They want things that are fast, cool. Yeah. So you have this like collage of a video of just like high school kids screaming yeah. for like half a second, quick shots of whatever the security guard picks up. Yeah, quick micro second shots of kids in high schools streaming constantly. That's what people want. That's what the public wants. Yeah, just No, oh. who are you? Get yeah. away. That's that's what people want to see. I want to see that. I mean, Netflix, if they don't pick up whatever that is, uh, they're not doing it right. Just a Netflix show of these kids. Call them the flip-floppers. The flip-floppers. You go on Netflix, it's a show called the flip-floppers. What's this? And it's just security cam footage of children in school. And it's like, oh, this is a good show. This is good values for my family. And we sit down with the whole family and watch these kids in high school. And it's like, Dad, why why are we watching this? Why do you like this so much? This is a little weird. And it's like, quiet down, kids. I got to see this footage. <laughs> quiet down. Daddy's got to Daddy's got to learn business. Daddy's got <laughs> to do his business. I just got to get ahead of the industry. Daddy... <laughs> <laughs> Quiet down, family. My family, we're going to sit here and eat our dinner. This dinner that your mother made. And we're going to watch these kids on Netflix. Because I, I got to do my business. I got to do my research. I got to research these kids. Shut up. I got to do my research. But I'm tired. We've already eaten. I want to go to bed. No. No, 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 no. Time to watch more kids. I think that's the future of America right there. Certainly the future of the entertainment industry. Yeah. Right now, I mean, have you seen the Oscars? Oh, what a bore. It's deplorable. If the Oscars could just be children on stage presenting awards yeah. to uh, other high school kids. Why do they make their... all these movies with these old people in them? Why? Oh, you're asking? Yeah. I don't know. What? Nomad we... land, it's these old people running. If it was kids, now that I could get interested in. Oscars for kids. Kids edition. Kids Oscars. That I would like. That I would watch. Now we're talking about, <laughs> you talk about taste. That's, yeah. Yeah. It's just kid kids Oscars. Oscars. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Bridge, uh, you're going to have to get on that dark web. I know you've been hesitant. I've already made a sign in for you because you got to sign into the dark web and connect it to one of your emails. I don't know. I'll leave that to you. There, you seem no. real invested in that dark web stuff. And uh, I'm telling you, the dark web is the way of the future. Um, and there's a lot of kids on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, so maybe this the has dark been web is the new business. Community. Yeah, <laughs> this is, I think we've learned a lot about business. Today. Delved into high art, high fashion, uh, taste, taste making, and business, having good taste and business, and yeah, really seeing the future and seeing what's what's going to be the next big thing. Because I think that's very important for entrepreneurs is not just like waddling in your own filth and. Looking at your family and saying, uh, at your wife and and thinking, oh, you're you're too old, you're too old. For me. Is that what you see a lot of uh, business people do? Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I definitely see that yeah. uh, happen a lot you're in business. That. You're Just that these a lot men. Too. Just covered in, in in mud and sewage, and they're in their house. My family is too old for me. Well, your wife's in the kitchen and going, you're too old for me. <laughs> you're too, you're too old, old for me. And going and up to your kids. You're too, you're too old, old for, me. for me. My kids are just, too old. Kids are too old. And then just standing up slowly, walking walking into the other room and flipping on Netflix and watching, uh, <laughs> watching the, the new show. <laughs> Flip floppers. Just mumbling at your family that they're too old. Like going and watching Netflix shows of just kids. That's the father of the future. And he's just covered in filth. Covered in dirt, coming home from uh, eating a too, way too much spoiled Indian food. He's just working for Bridge Stewart, eating Indian food, getting home, getting tired, your stomach hurts. Looking at your wife going, you're too old for me. Just an obese father covered in sewage, mumbling at his family and watching children footage. The American dream is not... Uh, That's what everybody is, wanted uh, in the 1950s after World War II. Yeah. That was the dream. The that nuclear the family. Dream. What a life. Yeah, this is uh, this has been Business Money Hacks. I hope you got something out of this, some uh, new tips, at least what's what's been going on in our heads. Yeah. Having good taste is important. Um, and we cert Bridge and I certainly uh, we do have it in spades. Yeah, I hope you all learned a lot about the industry and the entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm Bridge Stewart. I'm Bridge Stewart. Thanks so much. <laughs>